Hello friends, in this tutorial, uh, we are going to implement a, st implement a stack data structure using an array. So uh, first, uh, we will understand uh, what is a stack data structure, what are their uh, operations, uh, what are the operations performed in a stack, and then uh, we will write a Java code to implement all those operations. So it, uh, this problem is also important in terms of interviews. So interviewers generally ask implement a stack using array or implement a stack using a uh, linked list. So uh, so far we have discussed so, so many problems uh, related to stack data structure. So uh, the complete playlist, the link of complete playlist, I'll mention them in a uh, description box. So please make sure you check the description box and also at the end of this video, uh, uh, the complete playlist uh, link is present. So uh, let's uh, discuss what is a stack data structure. A stack is a linear data structure in which insertion and deletion are allowed only at one end called top of the stacks. So it follows last and first out principle. The element which inserted at last is the first element to be popped out. So there are various operations we perform on a stack. So first one is push, inserting an element in a stack, pop, deleting an element from the stack, peak, uh, return the top element of a stack without removing it is full checks. Uh, check if a stack is full, uh, is empty check whether a stack is empty or not. So in this coding example, we will implement uh, all these operations. So before implementing, uh, before uh, writing a Java code, uh, let's uh, understand uh, the stack. So here I'm drawing this. Uh, I'm just I'm drawing this stack, and so let's uh, perform following operation on this stack. So my first operation is push four. So push push. Uh, so push operation uh, means insert an element in a stack. So just insert four in a stack. Push five, insert five in a stack. So uh, then push nine, insert nine in a stack. Now then uh, the pop op uh, next operation is pop. So uh, the element which inserted at last in a stack is nine. So this is the first element to be popped out. So let's pop 9 from a stack then uh, next operation is push 7 so I'll I'm going to push 7 in a stack then uh, the next operation is peak so peak returns the top element of a stack so so it will uh, return 7 so the top element of a stack is 7 and also uh, remember uh, all the operation perform only at one end so we are inserting also from that end and we are deleting element uh, from that end so uh, in so and the element which inserted at last is the first element to be popped out so if I say uh, if my if my next operation is pop then the seven uh, will be popped out first uh, so in this way uh, a stack works so let's see the java code so uh, this is uh, my class uh, in which i am implementing a stack using array and i have declared three variables size array and top so in a constructor uh, i am initializing a size uh, and uh, this is the uh, top variable which uh, uh, I mean so the initial value of top is minus one whenever in we insert an element in a stack we just increment the value of a top and whenever we do the pop operation we decrement the value of top so it, it keeps track the uh, uh, stack top element I mean top index so it's full check whether a stack is full or not so it returns size minus one if the size of an array minus one equal to equal to top then stack is full is empty if the value of top is minus one which we initialized uh, when we when we are creating an object of that class then stack is empty peak returns the 
top element of our stack without removing it so we just re uh, return uh, the top element so <clears throat> push uh, first check whether a stack is full or not if it's not full then insert an element in a stack and in after that uh, it incremented the uh, value uh, so pop remove the element uh, top element of a stack so first it check whether the stack is empty or not if it's not empty then uh, it removes the top element of a stack and if the stack is empty then uh, it returns it prints a stack is empty uh, and this operation uh, this is also known as stack underflow and whenever if the stack is full and uh, we are going to insert an element in a stack then we uh, then it print out a stack is full it is also known as a stack overflow so in my main method i'm creating an instance of uh, this class and initializing with uh, an initial size of a stack is three so initializing the size of a stack uh, three so so first it push uh, four in a stack then three then 13 uh, so 11 is not push in a stack as we have mentioned uh, their size 3 so after that it print stack overflow then when we popped 13 is popped from a stack then 3 is popped from a stack and when we print the peak element it will print 4 so let's run this code and see the output So see element first element to be pushed as 4 then 3 then 13 and after that a stack is overflow then a 13 is popped then 3 is popped and the peak element is uh, 4 so uh, this is uh, the implementation uh, using array so i hope you love this video so please share this video with your friends with your colleagues and please do subscribe our channel uh, and you can also visit our website which is uh, webrewrite.com https colon slash slash webrewrite.com and that's it for this video uh, thanks for uh, watching this video thanks for your time